Hi Stuart, how are you doing? Good, thank uh, you. Stuart, um, Jack Hendry was talking about the manager a couple of days ago to the BBC. I just wonder if you could share your thoughts on on his influence and what he's brought to the Scotland setup, given that he's approaching his, his 50th game. Yeah, um, well, I think, I don't think I need to speak too much on that. I think it speaks for itself. I think since he's come in, I think we've gone from strength to strength. I think there's a real consistency about the team and the way we perform and, and uh, find results. Um, so I think his influence, I think, on, on the Scotland national team has been significant, um, hugely positive. And um, he's created an atmosphere here where players want to come and play. Um, they enjoy it, but ultimately as well, that it's uh, a place where you can be successful and, and win games. And that's what everyone wants. Are we doing translation, Ross? Sorry, just to check. No, three questions in English first. Martin, on you go. No worries. Uh, obviously, for the, the squad, you talked about atmosphere there. I wonder if you could give us a bit more insight into that. Is it, from the outside, it feels like it's more of a club sort of atmosphere. Is that accurate? Yeah, I would say I would say it's helped by the fact that um, a large proportion of the group um, have been together for a long time, and uh, everyone's very familiar with each other. You've got some uh, very interesting characters, funny characters that bring a lot to the group. Um, it's a very relaxed atmosphere, but serious when it needs to be. I think the blend is is really good, and I think that's uh, amplified by the by the manager. You've got two games coming up. Of course, you're in a great position already qualified for the Euros next year. What do you and the squad see as the priority? And I wonder if it's been mentioned at all that the two wins would bring pot two for the draw. Is that in your thinking at all? I think, yeah. I think, to be honest, we want to finish, finish as strongly as possible. Um, the recent friendlies uh, have been disappointing for us, so I think we want to bounce back with positive performances. Um, you know, it's a game by game, so we focus on uh, on tomorrow night, and uh, I think it'd be a really strong campaign if we finish with uh, two good results and, and something we can be really proud of. You know, can I just ask you to, to continue on that theme? I mean, how, how big is you know, the winning momentum in, in international football, especially because you'll be after this camp, it'll be five months before you play again. To, 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 to finish this campaign strongly would also help prepare for the Euros as well? Of course. Um, I think, obviously, preparing for the Euros, but it's still a long time before that. Um, and this is very still much part of this campaign, which, as a whole, has been uh, a pretty successful one. Um, but, yeah, the feeling from the friendlies is uh, a feeling of a, a little bit of disappointment, and we know we can do better. So to get back onto that... Um, Winning form and, and positive performances um, would mean a lot for the team. Can you do a translation on that one now. Right, okay. I'm a bolo, a shaky club, a carty, and a bully club. I love it. Motamash is kit has ranted at Nishno Lova Nearis, Amor Tamashi, Tadebiti, Shebekis, if there are in his view, had ever Trump, Punti, Ugasuri, or the champion of the. As or time is Italian, we should have a joint twist. We need to or if it's more efficient, we should should have a more realistic debate. The list has a set amount of what the period has a period of years. That is constant. I don't know. At some time, we should have a calculated solution. Is it clear that or if it's a change in time, we should have a solution. I just asked as well, Stuart, you, obviously just before your time, the last time we Scotland played over in Georgia, but you'll be well aware of the, the record over, over here. Is that another thing, that a chance for you to, to do something that another Scotland team hasn't done or to, to get a result here? You've been good at you know, kind of breaking these sort of hoodoos of qualification and winning playoffs as well. Is that, is that a challenge you can relish as well? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, any challenge is... Uh is one that we're always up for. I think um, in the past, as you said, we've uh, we've broken a few, so I'm sure we'll be, we'll be looking to break another, and um, ultimately that means a good performance and, and a win. So, um, yeah, very much a challenge, and obviously one that we're looking forward to. 
Hugely influential, of course. I think um, he's brought a winning mentality to Scotland um, that perhaps wasn't there before, um, and the belief that we can go into big games and come out with results and points. Um, and I think that's been a huge change, um, whereas perhaps uh, you know we failed to cross the line at certain points. So I think huge credit goes to him for for bringing that mentality, uh, bringing a system and a, an atmosphere that we. Um, we can go and uh, achieve these things. Um, and as of before I said as well, the, the atmosphere is, is huge within the group as well. So collectively, I think he's, uh, he's uh, been a hugely positive impact on the, on the squad and, and the country as a whole. In Amdulat, Zaliyat did the work of the government, and the government has been a part of the is system is mental loba, Romelitz is atmosphere Romelitz, Echla Aris, just Kunchi, Chunguatios in Sashua Lebasons or Kadams with Moment Epshi, Mivartiot and Bolom de Vizota, Mivartiot, Sasuel Shedex, Tazabushi Hotrevis, Rogotes, Norwegian Stani Romagal Tata, Squared Tamashits. Thank you, folks. Hi, Steve. Uh, hope you're well. Uh, you come into this, Steve, obviously going into these two games already qualified. You're about to embark in your 50th game. 
as manager of the first since Craig Brown to, to get to that. You've got players talking really highly about you this week uh, and every week it seems and fans right behind you. How does it feel to be in the position you are as Scotland manager right now? I, I didn't know it was my 50th until 30 seconds ago. Uh, so the kind of things are not really are not really at the forefront of my mind. I'm always just thinking about the next game, uh, how we can improve as a as a team, how we get better. So at the moment, just thinking about the game tomorrow. I expect a really difficult game in Georgia, uh, and just trying to prepare the team as best as I can so that they they perform to the best of their ability. You took on, as you've already explained, some. You know, pretty tough fixtures. Uh, the idea being, I think, to to evolve the team. What can you take from that into this game coming up tomorrow night? No, the idea is with the with the friendly matches, the two friendlies against England and France, are, are, are to push yourself as a as a group of players, uh, as as a staff, test yourself against the best, see what you measure up, and obviously with the results in both games, we we, we still have a little bit of work to do. So we just try and stay humble respect every opponent and just try to improve all the time the, I think it's correct to say that if you can win or get positive results in both these games you can achieve pot two for the draw I know you're probably focused in this game right away but how important would that be in terms of your ambition to be the first Scotland side to, to get out of a group at a, a major tournament listen next summer will take care of itself at the moment the the objective is to get as many points as we can in this qualifying in this qualifying group. So questions about Germany, I'll answer them. I'll start to answer them better in March. For, for the moment, it's, it's just to focus on the task in hand. A yeah, final one for me. Obviously, you're missing key players uh, across the board for this one. That gives an opportunity for some. Can I ask for your thoughts on, on the general depth of squad, not just this squad, but the options you have maybe even beyond that? As it again as you build to Germany? No, I think over the the course of my tenure, I've always tried to, to look a, bit, a little bit deeper. Uh, there'll be some squads where you, like this one, where you, you have a number of players missing, but there's a chance for someone else. I always say it's a chance for someone else. So if everyone else can do better, uh, it makes my my selection more difficult going into next year. And the selection will be difficult for me. I have to find the right 23 for next summer. For now, some boys are in the squad with a with a chance to make a big impression on on not just me but the rest of the staff and, and the rest of the country. So let's see let's see how they perform in the game. We can do a translation on that question. Okay. And look it way um what can about shot one years when you'll come to shit up the body pick with the dark debut. Uh round that catch here could emissary resource room. China's was his Motamashe Bita, as a Hagasta and Nakle, but comes to the hotel beer room, which has Shansen Yet Semet, Rabinet Gashiat was in Syria Sursirum, with Magadon is a guard zone Tamashi. Asuka is a lot of sets, we may have Tamashus is all to his Ahalipe Hotel Swissaris Shansi, Shasas Leboba. Europe's champion and this piece may also sound with a machine that she or Chio, the RRT Ozitianis, that's Bear Perpotals, Arkskid of Inisi, Shesslebobarum, Tavsi, Shesslebobi, Gamoablinos, Dan Kitsos, Roma, Missy Atkiliaris, Chosna Grepshita, Machunus Rom, Slim Sahuraben, Tunis and Zapanas. Go to Gavin. Hi, Steve. Obviously, it's a, a bit of a different preparation for, for this one. How has the, the training camp been? Do you feel it would be a beneficial for you? Yeah, it's been nice. It was, it was pouring with rain the first day we came. It was a really heavy thunderstorm. But the last two days have been nice. Uh, nice to train in, in good weather, good facilities here. Uh, so, no, I think it was, a, it was a good decision. It also breaks up a very long journey for us. So. I think in November it's, it's always nice to get a little bit of sunshine, so certainly on the top of my head. Uh, it's nice to get a bit of sun and, and prepare for the game. Like I said, I think we've prepared quite well, so let's see what happens tomorrow night. No, I'm sure that Kundin's the score of Porma did more than that. And the Hanks gave him some sort of early period that she gave a conduct to Kachita, or the Tamish Sinatra's Square Chamodian. 
too much away. Uh, listen, the three goalkeepers have trained very well, as they always do. Uh, and, and between now and kick-off, I'll obviously have to choose one, and that's what I'll do. stages that we've had consecutive defeats like we've had done or we've had recently so it'd be nice to, to think that in the, the remaining two games we can pick up more points I've always said that we want to get as high a points tally as possible uh, and two more games to, to try and do that It's a difficult. It's going to be a difficult environment. It's going to be a difficult uh, game for us because I think they're a very good side. The, the one game that they lost heavily was to Spain, and that's a little bit of a anomaly in, in the fixtures recently because all their games have been very competitive, and we expect another one tomorrow night. If we can go there and get a positive result, then it's only good for us. Uh, 
Sarsuli Gautis, Sushari, and Gautis, while the Tamas individual Ukurep, the Amsham Toshi was strong, quite the Tamas is about two week neighbor, Chuba Tamashi bit about Ark Kunz, Romelitz, Polotros, Gautis Kakakamu, Purepotas, Espanta Tamashi, the Gamana Crisibo, about the Tuli Karemo Ikneba, Chuntris, Chuan Machita, Story Damiton. Any questions from the Georgian media? Shakit Rebek, Cartway Journalist, who are